So then purpose driven is also kind of a hot topic these days. I don't know if it's COVID now everyone wants to have a purpose or was that also before COVID in that sense, why it's important for everyone to have a purpose driven career or a life, or is it not that much important for other people? It all depends on their personality. What are your thoughts about that? Yeah, well, what I've researched and what I've found, and certainly I articulated in uh, the book called The Purpose Effect, which is now coming up to four years later, um, is that there's three types of purpose, Maher. So there's, there's, there's our personal sense of purpose, our sense of self, our sense of who are we, what are we trying to become, and how might we get there? And it's really an existential question when we look in the mirror. And I think the, the pandemic has actually exacerbated that question because people have been cooped up, locked in their homes, you know, loss of jobs, what have you. And they've really had to look at themselves and say, holy smokes, what am I trying to become? How do I want to be known when I leave a room? And these are big questions, right? Yes. But it's not just about the journey of us as individuals, as human beings, although it's important, uh, we all need to work somewhere. Whether you're working for yourself in a one person consulting shop or what have you, or you're working for a large company like General Electric or Bell or Telus or Rogers or whatever. Uh, you hope that that organization has a sense of purpose, i.e. they're not just in it for profit, mm -hmm. that perhaps they're serving the community, they're engaging their employees, they care about customers, uh, they care about the environment and so forth. Like it's not just about EBITDA and making more money, is it? Mm -hmm. Well. Again, this question is being asked by many of us because we've been forced to look at our own employer and say, are they doing any good in this pandemic? Mm -hmm. And that's a key question. Now, the third type of purpose of the three is role purpose. So if you go to work, whether you're working from home or in an office or somewhere in between, and you feel no sense of value mm -hmm. in that role, if it's just a paycheck, Yes. If you're not asked for opinion, if you don't feel that you're contributing to not just the bottom line, but the better line, i.e. the doing good and better uh, line of the organization, then why are you in that role? Why are you in that organization? Yeah. So if they're all three of those are intercoagulated, if you will, and connected, I call that a sweet spot. Yes. And again, I feel as though the pandemic is causing many of us to ask the question, do I have personal purpose? Is my organization operating with a sense of purpose? And do I have purpose in my role? And mm -hmm. I find as, much, as horrible as the pandemic has been for her, this is a wonderful question to ask. Even though the pandemic has cast such a large shadow, uh, what a wonderful opportunity for all of us to ask those questions about purpose. Yeah, I totally agree with you. I, I did my personal values and I identified five personal values. And now every morning I try what am I doing? One of my purpose, one of my values is impact. So what am I doing in terms of impact? One of them is interviewing you. This is the way I'm impacting people. I'm helping other people. Another one is mine is creativity. I'm a creative person. So this is my painting. So I'm doing painting. So that's what I am doing. And I feel that that's important to identify your values and have a purpose in like what you're doing. But do you think that, I think you mentioned in a way, but I want to ask you again, is there should be alignment between a person applying for a job and the company, right? So that they'll be productive. What one would hope that there's an alignment. Now I'm not naive or, or some sort of pretentious goofball to, to not uh, suggest that some people do need to just take a job. Yes. They, they need to make ends meet. But what I ask them to, to consider, however, is that even though you need that paycheck, mm -hmm. don't stop developing your purpose. Don't mm -hmm. stop thinking about, well, what more do I need? Don't stop thinking there might be something else out there. Don't fall into the rut that, oh, this is the only job I'm ever going to get. That's nonsensical and balderdash. I want you to believe in yourself and I want you to ensure that you're taking the right steps to as you've done, like make sure you're refining what you're about. What are your values? What's your declaration of purpose? Mm -hmm. So why are you here? And if it's not within that particular company or role that you're in today, it's okay. Uh, but it takes some work. You got to do the homework. You've got to do the development work. And eventually at some point, I assure you, you will land 
in both that role and that company that fits in and integrates and aligns with your personal purpose. I totally agree with you and thank you for those great tips then. And again, for the audience watching and listening, if you have any other tips in terms of purpose-driven life or career, please leave a comment below and tune in next time for another question with them.